In my organic garden, I have many young apple trees and operating on them in search of round-headed borer became a part-time job every June through August. Every couple of days, especially after rain, I inspect the trees to see if I see orange frost on the trunk and that usually indicates the presence of the borer making its way up the trunk. Normally, I would uncover the bark around the hole where the frost came from and if caught early, I can usually dig it out and just start it going in and end its existence. Or I would take a wire and try to simply pierce it in its tunnel. No guts, no glory. I searched for a holistic and organic way of dealing with this pesky insect. Here, I take my hat off to Michael Phillips at GrowOrganicApples.com for his 1% neem oil drench spray for apple tree trunks. I have been using it to successfully minimize the onslaught of this formidable enemy in order to periodically spray the trunks of the trees. Look at this, look at this, look at this what's crawling up the trunk. It's gonna eat my whole apple tree. Bad, bad, bad. I don't know what to do with you yet, but uh, no lunch on the apple tree. Don't sit with me. No, don't sit with me on the apple. Some bug will eat you. Anyway, here is how I make the 1% neem spray. I use a four gallon sprayer. First, I put one gallon of room temperature water into the sprayer. Next, I measure out five ounces of organic neem oil. I use Ahimsar organic neem oil, which is pure cold press while crafted, and add enough of Dr. Bronner's peppermint soup to emulsify the oil so it's not clumpy. See, it's beginning to emulsify, it's turning lighter and thicker. Whee! One gallon has 128 ounces. So 1% of that is one ounce and 28. And if you take that 1.28 and you times it by four gallons, it comes almost exactly to five ounces. And that would be your 1% solution of neem oil. You add enough soap so this becomes light yellow looking like Dijon mustard consistency. See, it's beginning to emulsify, it's turning lighter and thicker. Whee! Now this is gonna definitely look like Dijon mustard mayonnaise. Oh, I feel like I'm cooking. Okay. I pour it into the sprayer and thin it out with room temperature water. You don't want to waste this stuff. It's very good stuff. And now you fill up the sprayer with room temperature water to four gallon mark. Mix it up, pump it up. Now all kinds of spraying of trees is much better than in the evening. So you avoid uh, killing unnecessarily beneficial insects like ladybugs, bees and so forth. I spray the solution at least one foot up the tree trunk and one foot radius on the soil around the trunk. I put a lot so the bark soaks it in and all around the ground. This 1% neem oil concentration is very strong and that is only for the trunk of the tree. And you can check out my other video for the insect spraying with neem oil. I do have to say that since I've been spraying the trunks of the trees with this solution of 1% neem oil, I have like almost no bores. And before I had probably after each rain like at least other tree, at least a bore or something like that. Bores thrive in moist, shady, and warm habitats. Another way to prevent the borer from successfully getting to my trees is always cleaning up one foot radius around the tree trunk from all weeds and grass for air circulation and to keep the trunk dry. Okay. A very important thing is not to injure trees in any way, especially the trunks. A good way to clean up my trees is with the sickle because I could be very careful and remove any weeds very quickly. You sharpen it like this. With a little stone that you keep wet. You keep the stone wet in a handy dandy little uh, dipping container that you keep on your belt. Yeah, so let's do it.
forward to many tasty apples and delicious apple pies. Let's give it a taste test.